Hey, hello guys, this is Mario. And, well, lately I have been taking some technical interviews. It has been not too well. And I decided to be practicing. I think I already practicing like a two months with lead code and code awards and hacker rank. But actually after finding this code sign up, I find it very useful. Maybe you can try it too. We have arcade, we have interview, practice, challenge, and everything. Uh, you can practice array, linked list, try hash tables, and you have a description. Well, my main point of uh, making these videos, recording these videos, is because I want to to practice my how I playing this kind of exercise in the future I hope I will I will crack the interview well uh, let's get started um, this is uh, the name is the first duplicate and code signal they give you the name of the company they used to make this kind of test for example this one is supposed to be asked by Google well let's try it like I give it an array to, uh, A that contain all the numbers in the range from A to A length. That means that the length of our array. We have to find the first duplicate number. Okay, but here is the catch: we need to to find the number which the second uh, index we can say it is the smallest. For example, here we have two and two and we have three and three and they are asking you to give us an answer the number here that we have it uh, uh, the second three which is like a, we have repeated it the two and three but the first second number is three now in this case we uh, we give three because the index of the second two is five and the index of the second three is four. Then that means that the minimum is three. Okay. Uh, one advice that I can give you after taking a couple of the interviews: always read all the information because, as you can see here, uh, you have like a one catchy case that says like a, if we have a repeated number we had to get the minimal index of the second occurrence uh, let's check this case this is like a one one two two one for example if we check just the first index and the last index we will see that the last index is five and the second index of two is in this case is the number uh, the third index that is why if we compare the first index with the last index we will have a, a, here a wrong answer well, how we can solve this well the first way to do it is we can use a data structure called it set set is a data structure that allows us to storage values but unique values for example let's see it uh, we have a set and we check the first number if that number is in the set we storage and then we continue iterating uh, through this array and if we find the second character the second uh, like a number then we have an answer let's check it uh, okay here I prepare one array and we will just uh, how can I say it? like uh, write our uh, algorithm first we need uh, to create a set this set is a data data structure that allows us to store unique values okay we are ready to like create our set then we need to iterate our array and 
find a collision a collision in our set why a collision well first we have to take the first element of our array and see if that array is already inside our set if it's not well let's create here a set this is our set okay our set okay and let's start to iterate we take the number five and we check our set set has number five let's check our set for now it's empty then we add the number in this case the number five well, we take the number five and we add it to our set and then we repeat it with number three our set has it no it doesn't then we can store it we store number three we take the number three and we add it and we go with number eight our set has it no we store it the number eight okay we continue our number five our set has it yes then because it has it we already have it here we have a collision we have to return our number we return the number five but if we read the full it said uh, if there are not such element repeated we have to return minus one okay if we finish this and we don't have any duplicate number we return uh, minus one okay let's cut it i am using javascript maybe i will do it later using python but javascript is now quite popular and always is good to use a script language when we are taking an interview because this will be quite complicated if we do it using java or a c or another language scripting language i think is the most adequate well our algorithm said we need to create our set okay well let's say let my set my set is equal a new set okay oh. a new set okay then we need to iterate our array for let i equal zero we declare our m variable equals to a dot length i know that some declare like for example i minus a dot length is also good but uh, actually it's more adequate to declare it and here in order to not to repeat this operation all the time okay i plus plus and now our logic so the logic is if my number in this uh, second my number is like uh, a one but what i have to do my set has the value what happened if it has the value we return the value that is our answer then but if not we need to say my set 
and I will add it to this. That will be a dos and last but not less we have to return minus one if everything is okay okay if we iterate to the end of the array then we don't have any repeated number let's try it my set and just uh, like uh, creating something my set uh, equals and we have the set let's start it we have the number two and we go we iterate see number two my set is empty see my set has the number two no doesn't we add it to the set here number one my set has the number one no i add it number three my set has the number three no we add it number five okay my set has number five no we add it number three my set has number three yes i have it here if i have it that means like i already found it and it's exactly the third second time that is repeating that element okay how we can check it well let's try it again one one two two one let's say it. my set equal and let's say my set my set has number one no my set has number one yes then i return it it would take me the first element all the time is everything also we iterate i will have one error here okay everything is okay okay i'll check it uh-huh let's say ah uh, here and you see i wrote number one but this is i yeah. mistakes now everything is perfect and we we'll submit it my internet is not going that fast but here we have our answer one advice that I would like to give you is when you finish um, any exercise uh, you will have the opportunity to check other people answers and honestly they will really really help you you really want to get good you have to read how others solve the problem uh, for example here yeah, it has a different approach but the main one is with a set um, here set a dictionary is also a set a set uh, look uh, they are using it in, in this case and another array uh, interesting okay well I hope this will help you and I will try to make it uh, better videos in the next time okay have a good day and if you have an exercise that you want to me to solve it please let me know right now i am working with the hash tables and getting prepared for for the interview yeah this is mario and log out <laughs>